Hello class, this is section 7.3 and in this video we are going to work through an example where the translation formula is useful. So again we have an inverse Laplace transform problem and the first thing we do in these problems is to consult the table and see which of the formulas look the most useful. So we have 6 factorial over s plus 2 raised to the 7th power and looking at here table we don't have anything that looks exactly like that, but this one comes awful close, and that corresponds to t to the n, and of course in our case n equals 6. So we know that the Laplace transform of t to the 6 is equal to 6 factorial over s to the 7, which is very close except that we have to shift the s variable by 2. But that's what our translation formula is for. So let's write this down. So in this case, ft is equal to t6, and this corresponds to capital of fs equals 6 factorial over s7. But it's clear then that f s plus 2 is equal to the function that we want s plus 2 raised to the 7 power. And we're going to have to write this down as f s minus minus 2 because it's how our translation formula is set up. So let's look at it. Our translation rule says that f capital f s minus a is equal to the plus transform of e a t little f t. And this is going to be equal to the plus transform and here, of course, a is minus 2, e minus 2t times ft, which is t to the 6. And this implies that the inverse Laplace transform of our f function is going to be e minus 2t over t to the 6. And that really is all there is to it.